guys. So for this video, I wanted to address one of the questions that is probably my most asked question, and it is why I quit basketball. And I didn't want to just tell you guys over Twitter or Snapchat because this has more of a backstory and I didn't just want to give you like a one lined answer. So I want to tell you the exact reason of why I quit basketball. I'll kind of just start in high school, maybe around my junior year. So my goal growing up as a basketball player was always to get a division one scholarship to college. It was never to play professionally. Um, I never had dreams of being in the WNBA. I had dreams of doing kind of what I'm doing now in front of the camera, but I did want to get a full ride division one scholarship. And my junior year of high school, I was recruited by a lot of different schools. I got a lot of different letters and uh, the biggest offer that I got was actually from Old Dominion University. They were the 11th ranked women's basketball program in the country at the time. And um, they offered me at the end of my junior year and I verbally committed because you can't sign until your senior year, I believe. Um, so I knew by the end of my junior year that or the end of the summer of my junior year after AAU season that I would be playing basketball in college and basically getting my schooling paid for and to be honest with you guys going into my senior year of basketball kind of felt like that was the time that basketball started to not be what it was for me in the past um, I loved my high school team my senior year but we didn't do as well as we should have we got knocked out of the tournament in districts which i'm still kind of upset about because i feel like i should have a state ring and our team should have a state ring because we were awesome um but it was really sad after that last game of high school knowing that you know the next basketball game i'd be playing would was going to be in college and i was really excited about it and i had worked so hard and i knew that i you know, I, I got the goal that I wanted. You know, I was going to a really, really big school, um, but I think a part of me was really unsure about it. And I went through a lot leading up to going to college. Um, I trained really hard and I was, you know, working with all these different coaches just to get ready to play at that next level. Um, but I was also going through a lot emotionally and mentally, um, a lot of anxiety. I actually developed ulcers in my stomach, which I, did, I didn't even know that I got them until one day I was just feeling so sick and a lot of times ulcers are caused by stress. Um, I was losing weight. I, I wasn't as happy anymore and I think it started at the end of my senior year that I really just wasn't feeling like myself. Um, and then I went to Old Dominion in June because summer training starts really early when you're playing Division One sports. and. From that time, I can't really say that there was one day that I really loved going to practice or loved going to workouts. It, it's weird because it was like I was excited and I was doing really well. I wasn't the best on the team. I was a freshman, but I was doing well. I was keeping up in all the conditioning things, you know, out running and I was strong enough and skilled enough for where I was as a freshman. You know, they were training me to become, possibly become the point guard the next season um, because our senior point guard was going to be leaving. So I was doing a lot of extra training with coaches on my dribbling and ball handling and things like that. But there was some part of me that was really tough. Like I felt like Rachel, the person Rachel, was being pushed aside for Rachel, the basketball player Rachel. and. I didn't understand why and it was really making me sad and depressed. So I kind of had to come to the decision that do I want to spend four years of my life not that happy and not being able to take the classes that I want to take, not really even studying the major that I want to study because of basketball, you know, not really having that many friends. I liked everybody on my team, but I never really fit in with the other girls. Um, you know, living in a city that I didn't necessarily love. Old Dominion is a great school, but I think it wasn't the right pick for me. So I kind of had to make that decision during my freshman year. Do I want to continue on these four years of not being the happiest person I can be and graduating being like, wow, I played basketball for four years and now what? Um, or do I want to leave the game now 
something that I've known for my entire life and has been, Rachel has been the basketball player. Do I want to leave now? And I made the tough decision to stop playing, um, which means that my last three years of school ended up transferring and going to American University were not paid for. Um, thankfully, I have a really supportive family who just wanted me to be happy and help me get through the rest of my schooling um, because I gave up all of my schooling being paid for playing at one of the top schools in the country under Coach Wendy Leary, who is one of the best women's coach in the country at the time, you know, I gave all of that up because I needed to find my happiness again. I needed to find who Rachel, the human being was. And I kind of like to make this scenario into like an analogy of having a relationship. So it's like when you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you guys have been together for so long, you can't just break up with them and be friends with them right away. So, you know, you need that time apart to be able to find yourselves again so that one day you guys can be friends again and you can love each other, just love each other in a different way. And so I feel like with basketball, it was the same type of thing for me. Like, I didn't watch the sport or play the sport for almost four years after I stopped playing because I would watch a game of basketball and I would just drop down crying because it was weird seeing something that I once loved so much, not, it didn't feel that same way about it anymore as a player. But now it's, it's cool because four years later, you know, going through all that struggle and, you know, getting over the fact that, you know, I wasn't Rachel the basketball player anymore and that's not what made me happy and that's not what I love, being able to find basketball and love it in a new way. And that's kind of where I am now. You know, I'm hosting NBA 2K TV and I'm working with a lot of the basketball brands and it's like, I love basketball. I just love it in a different way. I'm not in love with basketball anymore. I'm not Rachel the player anymore. I'm Rachel the host, the girl who interviews the basketball player, the, the girl who helps out other high school girls who might have been in my situation at one time. And so I kind of want to end this video with some advice for girls or guys who are going through the recruiting process. You know, you guys may think that you want to play in college one day, or maybe you're not sure if you want to play in college or play after high school. Um, but my advice would be to one, to when you're looking at different schools and deciding where you're gonna go to play basketball, don't just look at the basketball team. Just try to remember yourself as a rounded individual. Cause I think one of the things, I was blinded by the stars of Old Dominion and how great they were as a basketball program. And I didn't really look at the other things like academics and location and things like that, which are very much important to me. But at the time I was like, wow, number 11 in the country like this is an amazing program and they want me let me go there so that would be my first tip of advice is just make sure that you look at the school for what it's worth and get to know your teammates too or who are going to be your teammates and just see if you get that sense of feeling at home um, and then my second tip of advice would just be to don't be scared to stop doing something if you don't love it anymore because it was the toughest decision of my life at the time, and I still think it's still like the toughest decision I've ever had to make, um, but I'm much happier now. It took me a long time to get over it, but I think I did the right thing, and I think I'm at the happiest place that I could can be in my life. So don't be scared to make a decision be, that might seem like something crazy, like other people are looking at you like, why are you giving up your school? Like, well, like you're getting all your schooling paid for, why are you giving it up? Like. If you don't love something and it's not making you as happy as it used to be, don't be afraid to walk away. And, you know, if you're just going through a time where you know you can push through and it's just a little law, you know, push through it and keep working hard. Um, but I would say find what makes you happy and stick to it and don't be afraid to, you know, change paths if you think that something else will make you happier or you think that you're not living up to who you are as a human being. And I'm going to start for, stop rambling now, but I just wanted to let you guys know kind of the general story as to why I quit basketball. If you have any more questions about it or you want to see another video, maybe more of the backstory of my career in basketball, just comment below and let me know. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel for more vlog videos. If you guys have any requests for videos too, you can comment those in the comments below too. All right, I'm really done rambling now. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, I told you. <laughs> like
Sometimes I get over